Hello, my name is Anthony Johnson and I'm one of the solutions engineers here at Altrix. Today we're going to walk through a brief example of how to utilize time series within the Altrix designer software. So in today's example, we're going to take a look at uh, some real estate data that we have. We have single family housing sales within the Dallas Fort Worth area over the past 30 years. And that's the data that we have here in the input data tool. So we have housing starts by month and we have sales as well as some additional information related to those monthly sales. So typically when you're getting into modeling, uh, you will start out in the area of data investigation because at some point you'll want to better understand your data that you're utilizing for the model that you're building. In this particular example, we're using the field summary tool and we're using the field summary tool to identify and understand if we have any missing values within our data. So uh, ultimately, we want to forecast on the number of sales, number of single family units uh, going forward. And so within the field summary tool, we've selected the sales field and on the output, we're looking at the results in particular, most interest in the sales field for percent missing value, which here we can see that we don't have any. Uh, and that's most important because in the event that we did, uh, if we had any missing periods or if we had any uh, missing values, we would want to address that information before moving forward with our actual model. OK, so once we've addressed that, uh, we next are moving over into the types of models that we can run. We have two types. We have the ARIMA and the ETS model. The ARIMA, which is the auto regressive integrated moving average, um, probably more of the um, more commonly used types of forecasting models. And then you also have the ETS model, which is uh, basically exponential smoothing. So what the ETS model is doing is it's taking a weighting um, based on uh, how far that period and the value goes back. So uh, the lower the weighting, um, the older the um, pe time period and values that you're looking at. So what we're doing here is we're basically filtering on uh, a time period where we're taking basically the first 300 periods and we're doing the same for the ARIMA as well as the ETS model. And in looking at the configuration of each of these models, which the configuration is pretty much the same for the ARIMA and the ETS, but uh, we're giving the model a name. Uh, we're choosing our target field of what we want to forecast on. Uh, we're choosing the target field frequency. So um, is it by day or by week or by month? In this case, it happens to be by month. So we're choosing that option. Uh, we're also choosing the model customization if needed. You have some options there. And a uh, key thing here also, we're looking at the periods. We're choosing the number of periods that we want to forecast on. We're then taking um, the results of each model for the ARIMA as well as the ETS. And we're using a union tool uh, to bring both of those data sets together. In the output of that, we're passing that into a TS time series comparison tool. So what we're doing here is trying to figure out uh, which model is better uh, based on the results that we're getting. Uh, so you can see that we have our union data. And then we also have, as, as part of doing the time series comparison tool, you want to take your next um, most recent periods after the time periods that we've selected here. So basically you have what's coming on the false side. I'm taking the last 12 periods. Um, so basically starting at period 301 going forward and then I'm plugging that in as my right input uh, for my model. The results of that I get some various statistics uh, giving me basically the error. Um, so for example, I have the ME, which is the mean forecast error. I have the MPE, which is the mean percentage uh, forecast error. I also have the MASE, uh, which is my mean absolute scale error. And again, uh, depending on uh, the type of analysis that you're doing, right, some of these um, results of these error statistics may be more important than others. But ultimately, we're looking at which uh, one has the lower value. So in looking at my data here, uh, I can see that as I compare across each model in the various uh, error statistics, the ARIMA uh, has the lower value. Uh, so that's what I'm going to proceed with uh, for the actual model that I want to use to forecast, which then brings us to actually 
building the model itself. Okay, so we have uh, our data that we're streaming into our ARIMA model. We've given the model a name. We've ch selected the target field, um, which is sales, the field frequency, which is monthly. Uh, we've set uh, the series starting period, which was 1990, um, starting with period one, and we want to forecast out 24 months. Uh, the results of this data, um, and we, we've already run the workflow, uh, the results of the model is then being fed into what's called the TS or the time series forecasting model. Okay, so this is what's actually um, scoring, if you will, uh, the resulting data. Okay, so we've given the model a name uh, or, or the results a name here, which is called forecast. We have our uh, confidence interval, which you have the option to modify this, but uh, the larger confidence is set at 95%, smaller at 80%, and then we're setting our uh, future forecasting periods, which, which are 24, 24 periods, and then we can look at the results here, and if we open up this table, we can see the resulting data. Um, so now for sales, um, single family housing sales per month, uh, we have December 2015 forecasted and then going forward uh, 24 additional periods. This is time series uh, or forecasting within Altrix. Thank you.